Is he? No, Conrad Modson is not here tonight. We'll make sure he gets his certificates and make sure he gets everything that the rest of the guys get. Conrad's a guy that decided to come out and tried to play football here his senior year and had never played before. And that's the fast lane. And uh, he, he did a great job. He worked hard in practice. And uh, I, I know it's tough for him to grasp the whole idea, but uh, good kid. I wish him the best. This next young man, every single day in practice, ready, working hard. I watched him run sprints. I watched him when he was playing look team. I watched him when he was on the field. And every time I looked at the kid, I thought, what a great kid. Working hard, I think he was a real team kid. I think he was always positive, and I think that uh, it's guys like him that don't have the easy road that some of the uh, kids have that mean as much to me as anybody because it's so easy for a kid like this to say, "Hey, you know, uh, you know, maybe I'm not playing much and this and that and the other thing," but it's guys like this that are valuable members of a team because they're doing it when they don't have gold at the end of the rainbow all the time. So I have a lot of respect for Brandon Winger. I had this next guy, I got to tell you what, I'm going to remember this kid because he wound up being somebody that uh, just made me smile uh, day after day in practice. Uh, another, this is a 12th grader who came out this year, hadn't played before, and uh, I'm not going to discuss the ins and outs of it, but we had a meeting in preseason where he just got up and said, I can't believe it. It's, it's that simple. And I said, yeah, it's that simple. And out he went. And every single day he came on the practice field. And I know that there's some days when uh, he, maybe he wasn't feeling up to it. but. Uh, uh, this is a kid that had a lot of fun, and as the season wore on, it seemed to me like he was getting more and more involved and into it a little bit. And uh, I wish he would have started playing football a little sooner, because like, I think he has the attitude to be a ball player, and I'm just glad I got some time to spend with him, Josh Swell. say day after day, great kid, comes here steady, ready to work, never gives me an ounce of problems. He's as reliable as anybody we got on the team. And again, I think I felt the same way as I watched the kid. Uh, he was with us for two years, uh, super kid. Uh, never ever once did we ever have a problem with him and never ever once did I ever hear his coach say that he wasn't there to work. Uh, so I want you to meet Dylan Ray right now. He's a senior when we leave us. This young man is a fine kid, hard worker, and I have to say this, and I don't say this about every kid, that, although I feel it for some of the kids, I think this young man probably could have started for almost any team on our schedule. Uh, we happen, he happens to be in a position where uh, he's, he's fighting day in and day out, and I respect the kid, and I really believe that uh, he could have played he probably could have started for most of the teams on my schedule. And uh, he might not understand this, but I'm going to miss him. Zach Ciotti. few kids that I ever had that would play World Series where we used a foam ball and he would still run into people. And I thought, you know, he's going to be a pretty good football player. As the years went by and he grew up and got onto my team, that physicality never ever changed. Uh, of all the kids that, that uh, I've coached through the years, this is one that seeks contact as often as he possibly can. 
uh, one of the better blocking backs that I've ever coached. And uh, in the linebacking position, uh, he can bring the lumber. He can hit. And uh, we're going to miss him because you need kids like this that just love the whole idea of mixing it up on a football field. C.J. Brucker. The next young man is kind of the other side of the coin, uh, where CJ is always running around looking to hit people and uh, he can be noisy sometimes. This gentleman here is a very quiet, concentrated athlete. He knows what he's supposed to do, he gets the job done. Uh, you're not going to see a lot of wasted rah-rah. He's just going to come and do the job. And he's important to our team, he's a super kid. And uh, one of the nicest kids that I've coached through the years, uh, I can't say a bad word about him as a person, he's a great person, and uh, we're going to miss Mark Nellenbach. <laughs> Another one of those uh, kids that were five years old and up. Uh, this kid has a special place for me because uh, he got hurt a couple times his junior year, came back his senior year, and uh, he wasn't a starter. But every single day, big smile on his face, had to tell me that Nana had a message for me. And uh, I used to work with his uh, grandmother. She's so proud of him, and I'm proud of him. Uh, always came to work with a smile on his face. And uh, once in a while in the coaching profession, after a tough game after a tough loss, this young fellow walked up to me, shook my hand and said, I told you when I was five years old I was going to play for you someday. And he did. Doug Smith. <laughs> we are blessed with some great kids in our program. This next gentleman was a special teams coach dream. He was also a great offensive lineman, did a nice job on defense as well. And again, I'm blessed with some of these kids that come to work every single day, smiling. I never hear the knock on the door from them. They've got a complaint or something. They're just there to work and enjoy the game. And uh, we turn on a tape and look at one of our special teams and see this kid going downfield 100 miles an hour making hits and then jumping up and showing that enthusiasm that we have to have. Um, it's not going to be easy to replace. I think he's a good kid, and I think uh, we're going to miss him. Devin Schultz. Uh, 